The assassination of a general or a commander is like the destruction of a unit. The Russian army is losing generals and commanders one by one. Ukrainian partisan and sabotage groups, along with the attacks of the Ukrainian army, are also contributing to these losses. Recently, General Dmitry Yulanov was killed in a successful operation by Ukrainian sabotage group. Just a few days after this incident, there was news of another assassination. This assassination was announced by Chechen leader Kadyrov on his Telegram account, because it was Kadyrov's most important aide who was assassinated. Kadyrov's deputy, Russian Special Forces commander and deputy commander of the Russian Army Second Course, Akti Adalov faced a strange assassination because neither a weapon nor any other equipment was used in this assassination. The perpetrator of the assassination was an envelope. Let's analyze the details of this assassination and the developments in the occupied territories together. According to Kadyrov's statement on Monday, February 13th, Russian Special Forces Commander Akti Alodinov faced an assassination on February 8th. Alodinov was poisoned with a letter envelope sent to him. Because this envelope contained a poisonous substance, Kadyrov wrote about this assassination on his Telegram account. Friends, our dear brother Apti Alodinov was poisoned a few days ago. The moment Alodinov opened the envelope, he was hit by an intense, caustic and pugnant odor. Without realizing what happened, Alodinov threw the envelope away, and after a while, he fell ill. The soldiers who brought the envelope to Alodinov also experienced changes in their condition. For this reason, everyone who touched the envelope was hospitalized. It is still unknown who carried out the assassination. In his statement on the incident, Kadyrov said, On February 8th, Alodinov received a letter envelope with a poisonous substance. Suspicious of the caustic and pugnant odor, all precautions were taken. He cleaned his hands and washed his nostrils. His aides who touched the envelope were also treated. Kadyrov also said that experts are continuing to examine the poisonous substance and that an investigation into the assassination attempt has been launched. Alodinov, who was the commander of the Ahmad Special Forces of the Russian Army and deputy commander of the Second Corps, was an important figure for the Russian Army. So much so that Alodinov was awarded the Order of Hero of Russia in August. Alodinov, who led many operations of the Russian occupiers, was an important leader, especially for Chechens. For Chechen soldiers, Alodinov was the most respected person in the army after Chechen leader Kadyrov. Since the beginning of the Russia-Ukraine war, news of assassinations has been increasing day by day. Many comments were made after Kadyrov's best friend was faced with a strange assassination. War analysts and journalists interpret these assassinations as a threat to Putin by both Ukrainian partisan and sabotage groups, as well as by anti-occupation Russians, in order for the Russian leader Vladimir Putin to abandon the invasion. As it will be remembered, a British news agency reported that there was an assassination attempt on Putin in the seventh month of the war. According to the allegation, the left front tire of Putin's car was shot at, and the tire of the vehicle exploded. Putin managed to survive this assassination. The fact that the Russian army has experienced two assassinations in the last week is interpreted as Putin could be assassinated at any moment. Chechen leader Kadyrov was terrified after this assassination. Kadyrov may think that he is the next target because Chechen soldiers are losing ground day by day against the Ukrainian army. On the day Russia launched its invasion of Ukraine, the number of Chechen soldiers loyal to Kadyrov was 21,000. The number is now less than 9,000. Chechen soldiers are constantly rebelling against the Russian army for deploying them in the most violent parts of the war and on the front line. Chechens say that the Russian army is using them as cannon fodder. Chechen soldiers increased their losses with the beginning of 2023. In the first days of the new year, the Ukrainian army carried out a major operation against the Chechen invaders. The Chechen headquarters in Zaporizhia was blown up by Himars missiles in this operation. This was Kadyrov's most important headquarters. Part of the headquarters was used as an ammunition depot 
which increased the intensity of the explosion. The Chechens lost between 200 and 500 soldiers in this operation alone. Kadyrov continues to lose at the front line. Kadyrov's troops face many difficulties on the front line. One of these problems is that they cannot gain a place in the Russian army. Soldiers of the Russian army and soldiers of the Wagner Group, a private military company, constantly humiliate Chechen soldiers because of their race. Kadyrov does not care if Chechen soldiers are used as cannon fodder and humiliated in the army, because Kadyrov's freedom, money and position are in Putin's hands. It is almost impossible for Kadyrov to say anything against Putin. This is why his soldiers are humiliated and killed. The majority of Chechnya's population considers Kadyrov's support for Putin's decision to invade Ukraine to be wrong. However, they do not see Kadyrov as a leader, because Kadyrov is aligned with the murderer of his father. Chechen people believe that Putin had a hand in the murder of Ahmed Kadyrov, Kadyrov's father and the first president of the Autonomous Republic of Chechnya. This is why the Chechen people hate Kadyrov for collaborating with the Russian invaders. Another interesting fact about Chechen soldiers in the Russian-Ukrainian war is that Chechen soldiers are fighting alongside the Ukrainian army. Chechens are fighting each other in this war. Chechens who are pro-Kadyrov and pro-Putin are fighting on the Russian side, while Chechens who are against Kadyrov and Putin are fighting on the Ukrainian army side. Chechens in the Ukrainian army are serving in the Sheikh Mansar Battalion and the Jahar Dedilov Battalion. The soldiers in these battalions explain their fighting with the Ukrainian army by saying, we came to take revenge on Putin. Kadyrov is clearly unaware of what is happening on the front lines. Because the other day, he said that the Russian army would take Odessa, Kharkiv and Kiev and reach Poland. But what is happening on the front and in the army shows that what Kadyrov says is not possible. Chechen and Russian soldiers are suffering constant casualties and are unable to agree among themselves within the army. It is impossible for an army that is not yet united to achieve success. When Chechens are dying one by one at the front, Kadyrov is making plans for himself. Recently, a striking allegation was made about Kadyrov and Yevgeny Prigozhin, the owner of the Wagner Group company. This claim has been talked about for days. Kadyrov's closeness with Russian leader Putin is known by everyone. Kadyrov is one of the rare people who can reach Putin whenever he wants. This means he knows a lot about Putin. Kadyrov is allegedly passing secret information to Prigozhin. Kadyrov and Prigozhin have agreed between themselves and are preparing for a post-Putin Russia. This claim means that everyone in Russia has accepted that Putin will lose this war and end his political life. We will see what will happen in the coming days of the war. Who do you think sent the poison letter to the Chechen commander? What do you think about Chechens fighting for the Russian army? Do you think that the number of Chechen soldiers decreasing day by day will affect the course of the war? We are curious about your opinions. Follow us for more updates.